Hello and welcome back to 2064 Read Only Memory. So we will load our last chapter. Wait, let's press continue. Um Um What is... what was the plan? I forgot. Aww, that is the most adorable little Wait, romp. where is my what save kind of game? Who? Huh? Saves. Empty slot. Load. What is this? An off-color brick stuck in the wall. Hey. All those brick wobbles as you plow the wall. Okay. Hmm. Do you think it would be okay to take that? Would it break out? Uh yeah, why not? Might come in handy for something. It's thick and heavy, but you can carry it around and maybe even find a use for it. Nice. We've got a brick. Um, what was that? I can't remember. Go inside to make the drop. We'll oh, really? Yeah. Don't. I suppose. Uh, hey, it's a pretty cool set. They don't really care about. Me. Wait, so we that had that out. already. We would have been. So I like the. We'll be. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Back. It's okay. Go in. Sight. Yeah, yep. Welcome. Hey, friends. What? It's everything for now. Later, you two. Bye, bye. Bye. You cool guys. Oh look, it's my favorite human in the. I'm caught up in something at the moment. Chances are we'll cross paths again. In your ID? No, it's a bit too scary. The poster. Well, that should do it. That was yeah. an awful lot of fuss. I just don't understand the appeal of merchandise. Uh, oh. <laughs> you did no. no. Wait, I saved no. last time. I even told you Why still. we are here? Let's head back out. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go back outside. Y'all do the deal? How did it go? We left the poster behind the cabinet. Now no, we I've need to... had to wait more than five minutes or so before. Yep. I wonder how he knows the drop happened. And, and gets it. Fast. Don't matter. This guy's a solid feed. Even if what do you need these passports for any you said to trade for information. Without going into uh, bam, 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 bam. We Yes, yes, yes. No way. Grand Theft Auto with besides. Chad's right. Of course I'm right. The city's traffic management. You have to spoof. Yep, yep, yep. I don't want to mess with Boo. We had the this already. Especially I save. Well, thank you. Yeah, Blue. You give us. Okay, blah blah blah. Yes, yes, yes. Blah blah blah. My dad won't notice. You take care. You too. See ya. Bye. Goodbye. Let's finish the trade and. Yep. Welcome to Star. Yeah. Here the passports are. Just now we need to. Fu Jess is right over. Yep. Uh, sure, but you can do the talking. I guess we could try. Oh, come on. Buster. Let's talk to her. Did you find your guy? Or wait, let me guess. Well, yes, you have been terrible. We need access. An informant of ours. Seriously? Actually, don't answer. I'm not sure why you think anything mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Regardless, I won't go down that path. 
Is there any possible way you could give me us any kind of lead at all? I know we're reaching. You just don't quit. This might be a long shot. They'll probably be reluctant. Get me another drink in exchange. Uh. That went better. I wonder if my ch- Oh, you performed. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's go to talk to Majid. Hey, friends. What? We were hoping you could give us a little information. Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. <laughs> What'll it be? Hmm. Hmm. What do we want? Air drink, modest coney, onyx from Scotch drop and roll, the Royale. Hmm. Puffy dream. Coming right up. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. He's better with the weird kind of stuff people ask for these days. Some of these cocktails make me need a. St this one is. Mm-hmm. Three out of here. Three power delta with optional chromatrine, all aged and mixed. And a couple of these will make your tongue you feel velvet more of them, and you'll be sleeping soundly sweet and sour. Does that sound good? Ah, uh, sounds good. Here you go. So, what did you need help with? We've run into a roadblock in our search for Hayden. Word on the street is that he's gone missing, which I'm sure you already know. What can I do? Um, yes. An informant of ours needs secure transportation out of the city, but we don't have any contacts who would be able to get us an untraceable car. Just mentioned that you used to engage in certain extra legal <laughs> activities. Perhaps you could point us towards someone who could help. Maybe, please. You that would be so. Ah, uh, yes, please. He doesn't do that kind of stuff anymore. Right. Sorry, friends. No. Oh. I left that life behind a long time ago. <laughs> Don't really keep in touch with that crew anymore. Ah, of course. Completely understandable. Sorry to bother you then. Well, no harm in asking, right? My reputation precedes me. Come on. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. Gus, I need to go to the back and gather up stuff to restock for the rush later on. Mind manning the bar for me? Take your time. I think I can keep things under control. Thanks. Love you, hun. Well, that leaves us at a dead end. Any yeah. ideas on how we should proceed? No. Some nose to the ground journalist techniques for finding leads? Uh, maybe there's another way out of the city. We just give Vincent what we've got and twist his arm for the rest. Mm. Mm. We ask Tomcat. No, Tomcat has already stuck their neck out for us too often. I feel a little bad about how much we've relied on them as it is. And besides, this is a considerably more felonious action. Morally, we should be dirtying our own hands. Um. Or we're going through Jess' friends directly. Maybe we could find an old, manually driven car. It's a Vincent in a trunk and make it look like kidnapping. <laughs> no. <laughs> what about going through Jess' friends directly? That might be our only option. We had to have Jess vouch for us so we wouldn't get sold for parts. Well, I'd get sold for parts. I don't know about you. Mm, Can you even use human parts for anything? Yes, for other humans. Regardless, we might have to chance it. I hope you can ask around without drawing too much attention to us. Hmm. Oh, come on. What? Okay, okay. The two of you are killing me here. Why? Look, what? Don't tell Majid about this. But here. Hmm. Carjacking device attitudes. Oh, what? What is this, Gus? It's an automated vehicle maintenance scanner with a few less than standard upgrades. 
When you circumvent its security codes, you can use it to scan a car's installed firmware and replace it with a new set that will spoof its presence on the city's network. Mm -hmm. That's the gist of it, but we don't have time to get into any specifics. You need to get the hell out of here with that before Majid gets back. Quite an urgency. Look, Majid has done a lot to turn his life around, to turn my life around. I really respect that about him, and it's part of why I fell in love with him. He did what I was never able to. That's how we met, you know? That old rough-and-tumble life we both led. Ah, uh, you but too, okay. But when Stardust struggled and needed money fast... Yes? I had to get back in the game to keep us afloat for a few years. I told him it was all angel loans, donations from patrons, lots of things. Oh no. He'd be heartbroken if he found out I'm still in the game. No. I had to do whatever I could to keep our new life. Oh. Even if only one of us is really living it. I may as well give this thing to someone who wants to use it for good too. Oh. I can't tell you how much we appreciate this, Gus. Yes. We might finally be on our way to solving this mystery. I appreciate this too. Thank you. Yeah, well, you didn't get it from me, okay? Just get out of here and get on with your little Grand Theft Auto. And let me know how it goes, okay? Sure. Of course. Noise. Hey, friends, what can we. Hmm. How did you and Gus met? Ah, well, ask Gus if he's comfy telling you. It involves some personal information on his part, so I leave telling the tale to him. Okay. But I don't think Stardust would still be here without him. Everyone in the industry loves him. <laughs> we get a lot of popular acts in here because of him, and that keeps interest high. Needless to say, he's a sweetheart. Yeah. I'm a lucky guy. Oh, yes. Hmm. Later, you two. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, nope, nope. Yes. Huh? Actually, did it, huh? Yes. Well, you scored a point. But don't think I don't have enough cuties around who can handle that. You've got more important things to be doing. Get a move on. Thank you so much, they're all so cool. Well, now I think we're cooking with gas, as the colloquialism goes. Yep. I'm searching the mesh for instructions on how to use this device as we speak. Let's go look for some likely candidates. I should be ready by then. Ah, uh, this one? Perfect letting everyone know you spent... Ah. Uh. This maybe? Success! This vehicle has the appropriate firmware version. Nice. Someone has been neglecting their regularly scheduled updates. Give me a moment to get everything installed. Alright. There. Hmm. There are some other options here I can fool around with. Ah, interesting. I can put in preset destination plans for a future date. Cool. Why don't we go ahead and set a plan for the car to return to this spot in a week? That's more than enough time for Mr. Mensa to get away. That's right. Now we aren't really stealing the car. <laughs> All right, borrowing without asking. <laughs> I feel better already. I'm not sure the police would agree. But are you a kid? Let's just steal the car already. Uh, Obviously, the yeah. car will drive itself to Golden Gate Park, and we can show Mr. Minsa where it is when we meet him. There, everything should be set up now. Nice. We still need to get the cash together before we can meet back up with Mr. Minsa. Mm-hmm. Cash. So now we need cash. I'm not sure. Let's talk to her. Hello. Rawr. Hello, Pat. Could we see Melody? 
Perfect. I guess that means yes. Let's go. Touring. I'm not saying I don't like seeing your little pixelated face. You're certainly better company than most of the humans I have to deal with. But... But I am a busy woman, you know? Lots to do. Sure. Right, Pat? <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> I knew anyway, it. Anyway, maybe we should space these little visits out a good bit further. Hmm? Familiarity breeds contempt, after all. And I'm very good at contempt. I apologize, Aunt Melody. You've stated before that you like your peace and quiet, but we need your assistance. Again. Oh, we're running with the aunt thing, are we? Yep. Another woman would tell you not to butter her up, but... <laughs> oh, flattery will get you everywhere with me. Nice. All right. What do you need? Money. Vincent needs help getting out of the city. I can only imagine. If he's willing to turn coat on Parallax, I bet he feels like a mouse in a cat farm. And she likes it. I know they don't actually farm cats, Pat. It was a metaphor. Alright. Whatever, it, it was a simile then. <laughs> I am not going to play semantics with you. <laughs> Moving on. Yes, Tell please. Me what the trouble is, and I'll try to conjure up a solution. We're going to need to pay for the information. I'm glad you're willing to help us clean up your mess. Ooh. No. Yes, Mr. Mensa says he needs 100,000 credits before he's willing to speak openly. He also said that you already promised it to him, and that he won't be able to get out of the city without it. He'll give us the information once we have that, plus a few other things I'm certain we can get on our own. What? You can't even scrape together that kind of money? Mm, unfortunately not. Your friend's not much of a journalist, eh, Turing? According to the statistics that I have found, it is unlikely that a journalist of any caliber less than the best would have that amount of liquid assets on hand. The pay for the profession just isn't that high, Aunt Melody. Oh, I see. I guess it's one of those jobs people do because they get free review merchandise, eh? <laughs> no. Ha. <laughs> I can get you the money, Turing, but only because you're family. No. Just give Pat a few minutes to gather it. Rawr. Yeah, yeah. Just keep moving, you big brute. I like Pat. Pat is a cool Why bear. Wait. Is there anything else you want to grill me over? Mm. Might as well save us both another visit. Uh. It seems a little sad that you're alone except for a beer. How smart is Petrini? Smarter than I give him credit for, that's for sure. Okay. It's not the easiest thing in the world to measure, you know? He doesn't process language in the same way humans do, and even if he can understand me, my translation program just guesses at what he says most of the time. <laughs> You have a translator running from your neural implant. Ah, yes. I'm cheating. Oh. Though, honestly, even without it, I have a pretty good idea of what he means most of the time. We've been together for a while now. Considering it only really works on large, typically predatory mammals, we don't have a lot of test subjects. It's a minefield of ethical concerns beyond just being prohibitively expensive. <laughs> so Pad is a bear apart. At least until we can figure out how to apply the modified neural pathways without frying the brains of 90% of the subjects. Uh... The tech we developed is good. It just has a damned high mortality rate. 
Ooh. Maybe one day there will be a bunch of talking tigers and dolphins building cities in the sea, but for now, we're stuck with creating beasts out of our own species. Hmm. Maybe Turing had some questions. I do. It's a little personal, though. I'd understand if you didn't feel like answering. Just shoot, Turing. I can take it. Long ago, you lost your mother. I was wondering, how did you deal with it? Hmm, interesting Hayden's question. I've been gone for a few days, and I already feel like my circuits are going to lock up for good. Oh, Turing, I'm not the right person to ask. Because what? I hated my mother. She's everything I thought wrong in the world, and when she was gone, I felt nothing but relief that I could start undoing the damage she did. Mm -hmm. Never mind the fact I had to watch her waste away from the cancer. <sighs> Death was a blessing for us both. Besides, you'll find Hayden soon. Keep your chin up. Oh. Blast it! Enough with this subterfuge! We already know Hayden was killed. Oh, no. Yes. I won't be getting him back. Mm. I'm sorry, Turi. I still don't know what to tell you. I've lost people, but never anyone close enough to wound me. I, I, I don't know that I've ever had anyone close enough to do that. If you feel like talking about it, I'm willing to listen. Or make Pat do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. What do you don't Stick know? It out. Time heals all wounds. Or so they say. This too shall pass. It seems a little sad that you're all alone except for a beer. Being alone is easier. And Pat isn't such bad company. I mean, what do you want me to do? Cry about never having a husband, a few kids, and a white picket fence? <laughs> I had a company to run, and my mother's legacy to fix. What's to say some spawn of mine wouldn't do the exact same thing to my flower, just the other way around? Hmm. This branch of the Flores line will do well without any more knives being inserted in backs. Thank you very much. You have that much enmity for your mother? Have you seen what she did to North Korea? It's a wasteland of death and destruction. If we had kept going down the path she charted, the whole world would be like that. Oh. The information on the mesh does seem to paint a grim picture. Grim barely scratches the surface. I've been there. What the At hell? At least under the Kims it was barely functional. Now, my mother's monsters have ripped every last resemblance of humanity from the land. They stalk the night like horrific creatures of legend, keeping the populace in line through constant fear. A horror story straight out of the pages of Bram Stoker. That's her legacy. So Korea is destroyed. So I can't imagine I'd be a very good mother just from the example I have to work with. <sighs> That's life. I don't have any more regrets than anyone else my age does. My legacy will speak for itself, as my mother's did. Uh, we're short on time. Oh, just in time, then. Nice. Take the cash and get moving. I can finally get back to whatever it was I was doing before you burst in here. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt Melody. Your help has been invaluable to us. Yes. Yes, yes. Brown knows later. You've got things to do, too. That's right. At first, we will save here. Just in case. Save. Save. Yes.
And we move on. I did not think I would feel such a strong resonance with Melody. Oh. We're connected by the barest of threads, but she is already important to me. Is That's that cute. strange? Maybe you're both lonely. <laughs> what about you, much normal? Very possible. I guess there's nothing to do but run with it. Mm, yep. Some yep, gifts yep, yep. are too valuable to look at too closely, lest they vanish into thin air. And I already have a penchant for overanalyzing things. Let's get moving. Mr. Mensa will be waiting for us at Golden Gate Park. We have everything he requested, so we should head there directly. Uh... Maybe we can go... Oh, what? Detective but... Rivers, to what do we owe the pleasure? Um, I wanted to check in with you away from the prying eyes of my corporate masters. It wasn't too hard to track you down here. Only took a slight abuse of power to follow your credit transactions in the AutoCAD system. <laughs> oh, huh? Were you able to find anything out? So, when are you planning on actually telling us what you found? Were you able to find anything out? Not much. Hmm. Listen, I've hit a dead end on the investigation again, and I could really use another lead from the two of you. I had been busy hunting down a... I'm not sure if I want to call him a soldier of fortune or an assassin for hire. Mm -hmm. Either way, I tracked this guy down to see if he might have been hired by Parallax to snatch Hayden, but he's got an ironclad alibi for the relevant period of time. That leaves me with nothing. Not a Jack Diddley shit. Do the two of you have anything to give me? Otherwise I'm back to hunting down the Froyo-hating robot ghost in the park. Hmm. At least my superiors would be ecstatic, considering how much they keep riding my ass about it. I don't know if we you have something. Then leads ourselves, Detective Rivers. We have a meeting with someone from inside Parallax who might be able to give us answers, but he's unlikely to want to talk to the police. I wish. I just wish this. <sighs> Never mind. What? Back up, Turing. What do you want? I wish this was easier too. But with detective work, sometimes it's not about being clever. It's just about being more dogged and relentless than whoever you're chasing. You two are my new deputies, right? <laughs> so okay. Keep your nose to the ground and keep digging. I still have a few contacts I can hit up to try finding out a little more. You let me know if there's anything else I need to be going after. We will, thanks. Yeah, sure. Just get going. Don't forget, if you die, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> okay. Okay then, we only have a single lead. If Parallax really is as shady as Vincent seems to suspect, it could end up very interesting. Let's see if we can put an end to this. Finally. Oh, I just received an email from Tomcat. Oh, yes. What Tomcat is have for us? Hayden's data cache. All right. It seems that it was filled mostly with his personal logs about my creation and mental development. The more technical information was already scraped. Oh. Perhaps that is why it was left behind when they snatched him. Still, these files should be enlightening, if only in a personal way. I'll peruse them in my spare time and let you know if I find anything interesting. Yes, please. I'd hate for all the trouble we went to to be for nothing. So we should go there. Hmm. Hmm. But before we go there. Oh, ah, okay, we go there. We'll save here. Thanks for the comment. I appreciate your support. And save here. And I'm saying have a nice day. Have a good night. Have a good fight. And see you next time. Bye.